the age old question you've all been wondering who is better the two pyro damage dealers we got Klee, we got the Luke. They're both level 80. Who's better? Who should you use? I actually wanted to research this or kind of make a video about this because they're both very similar to me in the sense of dealing damage and they both have places where they're good and places where they're bad. And I wanted to see who's actually gonna be able to do better damage. So in these tests, I'm going to be switching around this artifact set. It's very, very nice. My proudest achievement. Um, when Klee is fighting the boss, she's obviously going to have it. And then Duluth will have it when it's his turn. Um, so really quickly, we're going to break down their weapons and their artifact sets. And then the team. And then the uh, the test. Okay. So they're both level 80. Um, Klee has this with the lost prayer to the sacred wind. Sorry. Wrong weapon. But it increases her crit rate and it's very nice very very nice um just it's great it's a five star weapon so obviously it's gonna be good this is Kali's. you know her attack is pretty low but her crit rate crit damage pyro damage hydro damage for some reason that stuff is very high because this artifact set which is gonna be on Duluth too so i mean it's good to look at it has these attack stats it has these sub stats um, attack, I went with attack on this because I just wanted a lot of damage. Uh, pyro damage, obviously, best choice. And crit damage, which all the substats are fine. They're not like top tier or whatever, but it, the problem here is that I think D uh, Duluk has like a dupe, but it's fine. It, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, Klee is C0. Her talents are level 8. Okay, so here's the big difference. Klee's got level 8 talents and, and uh, Duluk has level 6 talents but the reason I'm not making a very big deal out of this is because Diluc actually is going to be C1 so honestly in my opinion the fact that Klee is C0 they kind of just balance out that they're not the same talents but whatever keep that all in mind uh Diluc, this is going to be his weapon the Aminus it's great uh refinement 4 so they, they both their weapons are good anyways so let's look at the team the team is going to be I have to like <laughs> I had the wrong thing on the team is going to be uh, this team with Barbara so basically um, Barbara so I'm gonna go into sucrose and uh, trigger her thing to her ability to give us more elemental reactions uh, Bennett's ultimate is gonna give us more damage Barbara uh, has a three-star weapon where switching from her to another character is going to give us more damage so these three are basically supporting our damage dealer so that's about all you need to know let's go into the first boss all right really quickly before we start i just want to mention that we're not going to be using any food damage increasing items like crit increasing fire increase like all that food we're basically not going to use um i'm gonna try and make the run similar like on every run i'm gonna switch to the whole team just to buff them like i'm not gonna sit with Klee. I'm, I'm gonna do it the same way for both characters so that it's fair and that we have a you know a fair a fair way to see which character is gonna be able to kill the boss fastest and i'm gonna be counting the time from basically when right when the boss starts that's when i'm going to start the time so let's go first run uh obviously with Klee, it's going to be a little easier to break this shield because all her damage is pyro so that's actually very helpful for us um gonna go to here for this run we're not going to use the bennett ultimate because we don't have it so i just want to basically just get a a basic idea of how fast that's going to be okay so done now let's see how Diluc does. All right, let's see how he does against this boss. I'm sure you've known, you noticed by now, but as I was recording, I kind of realized that I didn't want to use Bennett's uh, ultimate, just because it's kind of annoying to like make sure it's all set up. But uh, it's not really that big of a deal as long as I'm only uh, as long as I'm consistent and not using it with both of them. So. 
Nice damage. The damage is not bad, but I'm sure you can tell that compared to Klee, I don't know. And the um, the problem is now that we have to wait for uh, for his weakened phase again, that's going to add some more time onto the run. So, I don't know. Very interesting. Uh, it's hard to tell, like, right, like, for me playing right now, I think the numbers are going to be very different. Um, but... You know, I'll see when the run is finished. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of surprised. Like, I did not expect it to be this big of a uh, difference. But let's move on to the next boss. So far, it's honestly been pretty crazy to see the difference in damage uh, between the two of them. I honestly thought that Diluc would be doing more for some reason I don't know why I just thought that because he was always hyped up the most and I actually saw some speculation or not speculation some discussion or whatever you would want to call it that Diluc is better than Klee for damage I, I heard that from a couple places when Klee first came out because you know two pyro damage dealers obviously it's going to be a conversation, but I did not think it would be this drastic. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of surprised more than anything that Klee is just doing more damage and they're using the same artifacts, right? So it's not like she just has better artifacts because it's the exact same set on both of them. Um, you know, Deluxe weapon is very good. The only difference is that Maybe the talents are holding him back, but then again, he is Constellation 1, so he's getting that buff where Klee just is not. So, very interesting to see. Um, yeah, let's take a look at Diluc's final run with this boss. Alright, so now we're going to be using Diluc on the Wind boss. I didn't really choose this boss for any other reason that it was different than the, um, different than the flower type of boss. They're, they've pretty different in the way that you know the fight actually goes itself so I wanted to give it a fair shot uh, with the two of them um, Diluc looks fine uh, I'm kind of so far leaning towards Klee but in the end the the biggest uh, biggest giveaway is gonna be the actual numbers themselves for the times but that was not bad. Uh, we took some damage, but we ended up, you know, getting the boss done. The thing with this one is that we have to go through this phase, but it's not going to be longer or shorter. This phase is always the same time, no matter if you grab all this stuff or not. But yeah, Deluc is fine. He's not bad, but compared to Klee, like, man, I don't know. Uh, I like Klee better, per like, personally, so far. I haven't looked at the times, but I can just kind of, like, tell that it's uh going in her favor so yeah very interesting stuff though so that about wraps up uh our little science experiment it looks like Klee is the king after all she is she the best pyro damage dealer probably uh and that's what i honestly am starting to think from this video uh, if you found this type of video interesting, let me know. Uh, this was definitely a new format. I had never really done a damage test before in Genshin, so I kind of thought it was an interesting idea. Uh, if you are unhappy with the results or you have something different or anything you'd like to comment, let me know down below. But as you can see, only a very small percentage of you are actually subscribed. Yes, I know. Surprising. So you should change that and subscribe if you found this enjoyable or interesting. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 before the end of the year, so let's make it happen. 1,000. We're pretty far, but, you know, it's possible. I hope you enjoyed, uh, found this interesting, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs>